Hello students. Today, let us learn lesson number 7 from the EVS textbook for standard 5. Let us solve our own problems. So come along then. Let's read and understand it. This video was made just for you. Do remember to like, share and subscribe. Let us solve our own problems. Can you tell students? What problems can you identify from the following picture? Look at these pictures very carefully and find out what problems these children could be facing. In the first one, this girl is saying, My area gets water only thrice a week. That means she gets the supply of water. Water supply in her house is only three times a week that is three days in a week so she is what problem uh, is she facing she's facing the problem of water cut or less water supply now let's look at the second picture the garbage has piled up that is it has collected i have to walk to school with my nose covered so, what problem could he be facing? It could be that people are dumping garbage and the municipality or the people in charge are not collecting the garbage and throwing it away. So, therefore, the garbage is piling up and there is a foul smell, a dirty smell coming out from it and therefore, this boy has to suffer every time he passes it. Now, let's look at the third picture. I feel like riding my bicycle to school every day. But there is no bicycle track. Isn't it? In our cities, in our you know, uh, small states or wherever we are living, there is no separate bicycle track. That is a lane or a, you know, a part of the road marked specially for people to ride their bicycles. So children cannot ride their bicycles on the main road, isn't it? So here this girl wants to go by bike or take her bicycle to school. But she cannot. Because of the heavy traffic, it could be dangerous as there is no separate place marked for her to travel on her bicycle. And the fourth picture, my father has to visit the Taluka place every day for some dispute over the land. Now, dispute means uh, there must be some problem with other people. Okay, so there is a problem there and so he has to every time go to the taluka place. So, instead, if this dispute or if, you, if he could come to know through the internet that is sitting at home, he doesn't have to travel all the way. So, this could be done on the things or whatever is a dispute, the taluka office should upgrade themselves and put everything on the website so that his father does not have to travel all the way, leave his work behind, go and waste time, isn't it? So, in case if he comes to know through the internet, just by sitting at home and, you know, opening the website or portal, he would have saved so much of time, money, effort, isn't it? Now, let's know this issues in civic life. Issues means problems that we face in our day-to-day -day life, our everyday life. We encounter many problems in our civic life. Encounter means we come across. Okay, so we come across many problems in our day-to-day -day life. And these problems cause us inconvenience. So these problems, uh, may, uh, you know, make us face so many other problems, inconvenience. That is, there is some sort of, you know, our day-to-day -day life doesn't flow very smoothly. So, there are problems that we face. We cannot do our work very smoothly. So, sometimes our life is thrown into disorder. That is, we cannot do everything very smoothly. So, there are problems that we face. And so, things don't go up like the way we want them to go or as per our plan. If we turn a blind eye towards the problems. Now, turning a blind eye means to not face the problem or not try to solve the problem, but just let the problem be or go by. So, if we turn a blind eye towards the problems, 
they become worse so the problem will become worse and they will not improve so we should try to solve the problem so it is best to solve them in time so whenever the problem arises at that time we should try to solve it the problems faced by people in cities and villages can be called problems or issues in civic life so what are problems in uh, issues in civic life it means all the problems that we face during our day to day life whenever we are want to do our day to day life carry on with our day to day life and we face problems it could be small small problems just like what we had watched in the pictures above okay the girl was facing water problem the boy could not travel without closing his nose there was garbage collected there was no cycle track uh, for the girl to go to school and the boy's father had to go all the way to the taluka office every time to find out what was the you know whether the dispute was solved or no it is important to be able to identify such issues so we should be able to identify what is causing these problems what are the problems and first thing to do is identify that there is a problem and what is the problem one person alone cannot solve such problems so since these are public problems problems faced by everyone so the solution also should be from many people coming together they can be solved through everyone's efforts and cooperation so everyone must cooperate and try to find a solution to this problem so for example in this we should find out that why is there only water coming three times a week what could be done to solve this problem because we require water every day water is a necessity we need water for so many purposes now in the second picture we see that there is a garbage collected so we have to find the solution why is the garbage not picked up by the municipality or the people in charge in the taluka or village level here we have to find out ke how it will be possible to make a separate track for the you know for the cycles to travel without the traffic coming into it so we have to educate the people we have to uh, make the road broader and even this uh, you know his father has to travel to the taluka office so maybe the taluka office could have their own website and put all the things whether the dispute is solved not solved or, and what is the problem all those things they could you know put it on the internet so his father doesn't have to waste time money energy and travel all the way to taluka office so all these things can be solved only with the efforts and cooperation of all the people solving disputes so what are disputes disputes means differences that people could have that it, it could be two people it could be more than two people so any problems that two people have with each other is called a dispute dispute arising over various issues in our towns and villages can also be a problem so if there is a difference of opinion two people do not agree with what they want to say so there can be a dispute and dispute arising anywhere okay on various issues so it could be on various topics anything in our village and towns can be a problem for everyone the well being of a village is affected by constant dispute so the village cannot run smoothly if the people are not happy with each other they are having problems with each other they have differences with each other so they can be they cannot be happy and so if people are not happy the whole village is affected v village can have problems it leads to loss of unity and obstructs the progress of the village so if there is a dispute problem between few people so what happens is there is no unity okay so people some people are not talking to each other some people are fighting with each other so it it obstructs that is it does not allow the progress of the village isn't it the whole village is like one big family so all have to work in harmony so it disputes the, the obstructs the how many of the people it obstructs the progress of the people of the village and the village cannot progress at large
if the disputes are not serious they can be solved locally by speaking to the parties involved so every every village or every district has a local body or a group of people who are there to solve the people's problems so if the disputes are very small which can be solved locally so they should try to solve this problem and so bring about harmony bring about peace among the people however if the dispute is not solved in this way it has to be taken to the appropriate bodies or the court so appropriate bodies means there are some organizations or there is government offices appointed to solve the problems of the people or there are courts where they can go to the court of law and there is a judge appointed so there will be uh, you know lawyers appointed so those people will listen to them they will try to find a solution to the problem and they will try to find out who is right who is wrong and will get a solution to this problem do you know since 2007 the mahatma gandhi dispute free village mission that is they have made an organization it is called a mission and it is called mahatma gandhi dispute free means no problems free of problems village mission is being implemented in our state implemented means it is being followed in our state that is our state of maharashtra the aim of the scheme or the purpose okay why the scheme is brought about the aim of the scheme is that villages should be able to solve their own dispute through peaceful discussion so this mission is brought about so that all the villages okay wherever there is a dispute in the village itself they are able to sit down and solve this problem in a peaceful manner not fighting again okay so in a peaceful proper manner so that they talk to each other and find a solution to the problem so this method of solving disputes increases harmony in the village so there is peace there is harmony harmony means everybody is loving each other taking care of each other there are no problems so that is the harmony in the village and villages have uh, uh, villages which have solved their dispute by using this me method also get a peace award so maximum number of disputes that the village has solved in a peaceful manner will given a award in cities mohalla committees help to solve disputes so in the village it is called the village mission and in the cities it is called the mohalla committees so in such a way the disputes are solved at the level where it has started because those people know about the problems rather than taking the problems to the court or to the higher authorities where they do not know actually what the problems these people are facing so they have to study about it but if it is solved where the dispute happens so there are there a solution can be found out quickly and in a better manner this is end of part 1 for a complete lesson watch part 1 and 2 you'll get the link in the description box below do solve the exercise that is given to you at the end of the chapter to check your answers you can visit our website at www.jkacademypro.com you'll get the link in the description box below do remember to like share and subscribe I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm sure you may also enjoy the following videos. You'll get the link in the description box below.